In this video, I'm going to demonstrate Smart Curve. Right now, we have the image opened in the editor of Photoshop Elements. As usual, I will first make a duplicate layer. This time, I'll name it Smart Curve. Smart Curve is under the Filter menu and right next to Easy Filter. So I've opened it. I made sure that the channel selected was the RGB channel. And now to brighten the curve, I will click somewhere in the middle and drag up. Notice the image brightens. To darken the image, I can go to the same point and simply drag it down. To reset the curve to a straight line, I will go over here and tap on the down arrow next to reset, then click on reset, and the image or the curve is back to a straight line. To increase the contrast of the image, I will shape it into a shallow S curve, and doing it this way, I will not, not clip either the black points or the white point at the extreme ends of the curve. The steeper the slope of the S is, the more contrast has been added to the image. I will reset the curve back to a straight line again. If you drag the lower point on the extreme left of the curve to the right and drag the upper point, the white point, to the left, you're doing the same thing that you did in the Levels command by sliding the two extreme triangles inward. Again, resetting the curve back to a straight line. To add a point from the actual picture to the curve, simply go to the picture, click on the point, and where that point appears on the curve is added to the curve itself. Clicking on another point. So I've added two, two points here. Now I'm manipulating the points, dragging them around. Now all the points on the picture itself that have the same tone will be adjusted as you do this. Now I'm going to play around with the curve a bit to add some special effects. When you're adjusting the curve and you don't want to add special effects, you never want to have the slope change from, min from plus to minus. Notice I'm doing that here. First it's going up, then it's going down. We're going to give uh, the effect of somewhat of a, a uh, posterization. And you can just imagine with the kinds of things you can do with your pictures if you manipulate the curves in this way. Okay, now I'll reset the curve back 
to a linear curve. I'm now changing the channel to the blue channel and see what I can do with the sky in terms of changing its tone. Notice I've added some spot or points on the curve. Start to manipulate the curve and you can kind of see what's happening to the entire picture as I manipulate that one blue curve point. Added another point, moving it around. It's changing that color of blue throughout the picture. Something I really don't want to do, but I will take care of that uh, after I've closed the Smart Curve dialog. I'm now going to add a layer mask to the Smart Curve layer. Click on the square with a right circle in it, and now I have a mask. The mask is white, but I'm going to convert it to a black mask, and I'll do that by holding down the Alt key and pressing the Backspace key. As you can see with the black mask, all of my curves adjustments have been removed. I will now select the normal brush. I will adjust its parameter to be soft, have 100% for opacity, and I want to paint white, which I will do by adjusting the uh, color swatch down at the bottom to make sure white is the foreground color. With a soft brush, I will then paint over the sky area white so that the curve adjustment I've added will be now visible. As you can see what's happening now. Whatever I ended up with the curve since it was on, when I was in the dialog box, since it was on uh, its own layer, is now revealed. And the bottom has not been uh, shown with the blue tone. Here I switch to the black brush to kind of tidy up my edges a bit to make sure that none of the blue bled over into the foreground. Here I'll be cycling the eyeball on the Smart Curve layer on and off to show you the before and after. This concludes the demonstration of Smart Curve. There are other things you can do with it, and we'll have other exercises to do that.